everybody, it's me again. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm Tina. Hi. Yeah, we are going to do that Come Clean With Me that I've been talking about all day today. Yes, as you can see behind me, it is nighttime. It's actually 8 o'clock. But it's never too late to clean. No, it's not. Not in this house, anyways. Because that is how we do things around here. Um, oh, yeah, I threw away my cereal bar because it was just really nasty and stale they're over there but i just got done eating something if you watched the video before this one i'm not sure if you'll see it before or after my voice was going very hoarse but now that i've ate something it has massaged my voice and i am now sounding normal again but for how long that is the question sippy sippy i've also switched over from my coffee and i'm now drinking my water because as I've told you guys, I got to itch my nose. <laughs> as I told you guys, I gave up my soda. Yes, I do drink it on occasion still, you know, because I still have like two or three 12 packs of it. I had bought it before I quit. And so I drink it on occasion, maybe like one can every two weeks or every three weeks. Because like I said, I don't, I don't drink it. <laughs> so, um... What we're going to do first is I have some, you know, I've been telling you that we're going to be working on cleaning out the, um, taking care of this crafting stuff, but that's a different video, but I do need to move this. I have a basket here full of clothes. And so I need to move the stuff out of that. And it has a lot of crafting stuff in it. We'll just turn you around so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. There it is. That is the basket full of stuffs. And I'm feeling the need. I'm feeling the need. You can see my um, table. The um, need to take a, a nibble. I need some nibbles on a cereal bar. You can see my kitchen is not too bad. I have, uh, yeah, I had chili for dinner. But um, yeah, the kitchen is not too bad. So we'll see what we get done today. I started taking. Um, some B12 vitamins and these ones right here I got these off Amazon they're like seven bucks and it's um B12 and folate I'm not sure what folate is but it's supposed to you know help you with energy and I do find that it does help me with energy I feel great I've been doing videos like half the day and I got up about um, I think about 10 o'clock I got up and I've been pretty much on the move ever since, you know, I had to get Josie ready for her classes. And then after that, I had to get Anthony. And then when I got back from there, I had, we went to Aldi's, picked up a few things. I did do a little haul video on that. It was a small, it was like eight minutes because I didn't buy much. And then w once we got back from there, I started filming and I haven't stopped I did take a break here and there and, you know, a smoke break and has a couple cigarettes or like I just got done eating, I had something to eat. But now we're into the cleaning portion of this video that we're doing. And so we're just going to pan you down so you can see what I'm doing at least. Yeah, these are some of the, um, the stickers. I told you we're going to um, do some stickers and these are just some that I have done off camera. These are the little kitties that I had cut out of the calendar that I showed you in my Dollar Tree haul. And I just put some of those little tabbies on the back of them to make them into stickers. And these are some Christmas ones I made. These were uh, gift tags. And I just cut out the little dinosaur and put the, um, you see those little tabs right there on the back and made them into stickers. And here are these two as well. And this one here, okay, these here I haven't finished yet, as you can see. And maybe we'll work on these. Um, I think this has a lot of Christmas stuff in it. So, in this, um, yeah, these are my, uh, what do you call them, my um, journal clips and stuff that I've been working on and making. Um, here's uh this is a bunch of jewelry that I made that I need to sort out I have them um, on um, bags you know like uh, storage bags that I separate them by color 
or by if it's a bracelet or if it's a keychain. And so I need to go through those and put them in their respective boxes or rather bags, in their respective bags. And this is my makeup. Let's throw that to the side. Yeah, I went ahead and organized my ribbons, as you can see. And I just, you know, put them inside little baggies and wrapped them up and made it more pretty. But I think I'm going to have to get a bigger container because this thing is full. And I think I need a little, something a little bit bigger to store all my ribbons in because I probably have more. And there's not much more that's going to fit in this. So I'm definitely going to have to find something bigger to um, use. But that's, yep, that's my ribbon. I'm just going to put it over here for now. And this, this here, this is full of all my little bookmarks. That's what I call them. Because you can, you know, you could put them in your, um, your journal on this, you know, different pages and stuff. Or you can just use it as a bookmark on your book you're reading. But I have like this whole thing of them. And when somebody orders something off Etsy, I'll give them a couple of them. You know, as a free gift. And that's pretty much what I do with them. And I just I just have them all in here. So when, you know, something sells, I'll just grab a couple and throw it in the, the, the package of, you know, what's, what's sold. Yeah, I went ahead and I bought um, some, where is it? Is it someplace close by? Yes, it is. Yeah, I bought this here. This is double-sided tape, and I used this to make my, um, like, just plain paper and stuff so it's sticky so that I can stick it to some, uh, like, a piece of cardboard. I usually use a paper plate because it's thicker, and it, it, like, gives the paper, you know, strength so it's not, like, paper. <laughs> and so now I'll just use double-sided tape to stick it, and then I cut it out. And this, this thing here, this, um... The tape dispenser, it came with, you know, refills, like six of these. And it was like $20 for all of it, which I thought was a good price. I got it off Amazon. And these here are just more things that I need to make into stickers. It's just a, um, like this one here I made. Here it is. Yeah, I made this little one. This is one of those, um, I got the um, little chalkboard thingy at Dollar Tree. And then I, I made like a little vase with a little butterfly. And that's one of the things I made to, um, to make into, I am either make it into a magnet or I'll make it into a sticker. And here's another one I made. It just has some flowers and a bow. But yeah, so that's like the kind of stuff that I've been working on to make into the magnets or make them into the, the stickers. I don't know yet which one I'll make it into. This here is just a bunch of stuff. This is where I store up my medications. And that goes down here in this drawer. And I do need to get my broom out and sweep because my floor is a mess. And here's Maggie's food. So I'm just going to move that over there. So I can put this down here. Yeah, I have some, I'm going to empty out this carton so I can throw it away. It only has one pack left in it. But, um, if I can rip it, there we go. Uh, my lipstick fell on the floor. I'm trying to pick it up. There we go. Yeah, the lipstick that I got from Five and Below that we're going to do a swatching video with. I think there will be some really pretty colors. I'm hoping it plays. And, um, yeah, I got some, this is some Epsom salt, and I got this for, um, when I get a gout attack, and I'll put this in some hot water and soak my foot, and it helps, it helps, you know, helps it feel better, it makes it so it gets better faster, because, you know, anybody that might suffer with gout, you'll know that it hurts, and it hurts a lot, and you can't walk on it without you know, wanting to cry out loud or scream. But I'm um, just moving this out of the way. Yeah, I'm just moving things from one... <laughs> I'm just moving things around. Okay. Where, oh, there it is. 
Yeah, I got the lid to this, so we can put the lid on it. Ah. That would have sucked if that fell, because then I would have had to clean all that off. Yeah, I went into my bedroom. I'm just going to put that up there. I went into my bedroom. I had this little pail, like the other ones I have. And I was just going through some of the stuff I had in there that I wanted to bring out that's, you know, craft related, especially things that I use for my jewelry. And so I, I just threw it in a box and I'll be like sorting through it and putting them inside the drawers out there. So that's what this box is of. And when we do the whole, you know, organizing the shelves, we will be going through that box. And Anthony's marshmallows, he never took care of them. I'll just throw them over there for now. Because they got to go in the drawer. Now, these are the shoes I got from Women's With, and I did give you guys a sneak peek of them on Facebook when I had the gout attack, but um, I wasn't able to film for a while. But, um, yeah, aren't they pretty? Now, the problem with these is they don't have very good tread on them, so I did buy some things to put you know, you buy them, um, they're sticky and they're tread, they're, you know what I'm talking about. And you stick them to the bottom and they give you tread. I, um, also got the pair I'm wearing. I'll take one off so I can show you exactly what I'm speaking about. Cause I already put them on these. Yeah. These are the, um, another pair I bought and I'm actually able to wear them now, now that the gout has gone away and yeah, the bottom of it's filthy, but oh well, but yeah, these are the things, um, that I bought. I got these off Amazon and you got like, you know, six pairs or something like that. And I had to cut this one down so it fit. It came, it comes with like two in a package. And I put the one on this side, which is the full size of it. And then I put, you know, like I, like I said, I cut the other one down and put it here. But yeah, those are my sandals from Women's Within and I love them. And they have a tiny heel, which is, I can handle a tiny heel. Do not give me a large heel because I'll break my ankles. <laughs> yes, I would. So we're still moving stuff out of this, this um, basket so I can get to the clothes underneath. Yeah, this here, this just has my um, stuff in it. This is for making my jewelry and stuff and my nose is itching really bad. I'm going to throw it in here for right now. It actually, it goes up there, but it goes up there, but I have a whole bunch of stuff stacked up there, which is not supposed to be there. And my nose is itching like crazy. I tried blowing it before I started, you know, filming because it just felt like it was itching. And I was like, well, maybe there's, you know, boogers up in there tickling my nose. I know too much information, Tina, but that's what I did. I put this, you know, double-sided tape in here. That wasn't smart. I'll put this over here on the table. Yeah, we got to clean off the table. What are you... I think this. these are... Um, yeah, these are more things that I need to make up that are inside this little thing. And we got some little Christmas stickers. <laughs> You know, just more stuff to make into either stickers or magnets, whatever I decide. And then I just got to decide, you know, well, if I sell them on Etsy, how many I'm going to sell at one time. Like, you know, like 20 for, you know, $2 or something like that. I'm not exactly sure yet. I probably will research it first before I, you know, decide. And these are just, you know, more. <laughs> I have a lot of stuff to make into stickers or magnets. This thing is full of them. So these things, I need to move this stuff over here because I need to be able to walk out. I need to walk to the fence so that I can put, you can't see. So I could put, this is, you know, my jewelry stuff. I need to put it over there on top of my drawers over here, right. Yeah, right here. I need to put them right here to get them out of the basket. So I have to move the stuff out of the way that I just put in my way. Try to put it down here on my by my feet. Okay. So I'm going to put those over there real quick. Because as you all know, I like to, you know, do my jewelry out here in the kitchen because 
That's where I met the best light is. Yeah, I need to get um I need to get this one here cleaned off so I can put some of them on here because they're getting heavy and yeah, these are window clings here. I don't know if you can see them, which will be made into stickers or magnets. That is the plan. Careful, poke. Careful, pokey. Okay. So, what are you? Piece of garbage. Yeah, the garbage can's right behind you. Yeah, we got a lot of sweeping, sweeping up that we need to do. These are my, um, you know, on occasion, somebody will, you know, buy more stuff on my Etsy shop and I'll have to send it priority. And the cheapest way I find is to do it in the flat rate box. Cause like um if you spend like thirty-five dollars you get free shipping. And so that's what I use usually when that is the case. I'll use one of those. Yep, I'm just moving things back over here. Yeah, my shoes need to go in the living room. I'm just gonna throw them over there for right now. And my purse, put that there. Pads need to go in the bathroom. I'll just throw them there for right now. I'll need to get up and go get the broom. But first of all, I'm just moving things over here in front of the, just over here out of my way so I can move the basket over so we can fold it. And I'll move into the other chair. In this house, it's called the cleaning chair. Because that is the chair we clean from. I guess it is. Okay. So I'm going to, um, trying to see through the stuff on my table. And this going to min min minimize. That's the word. Minimize. I'm going to minimize. The thing in the thing on the bob. Because before I I can't stand up. I don't like it when there are coats behind me when I'm trying to do stuff. So I'm just gonna throw that over there. Because I got a big butt and it kind of gets in the way of my butt. Yes. So I'm gonna put that right here for now. Cause I gotta clean out that drawer. Cause it's got some nasty stuff in it. And I don't want to add the fresh bread to the nasty stuff. This garbage is almost full. We've been doing some cleaning. Because my son had already emptied this once today. And it's already ready to be emptied again. And so I'm just going to take some of this stuff that's in this drawer. And just toss it because it's old. And I, I'm not going to look at it too closely in case there's mold on it or something because that kind of stuff scares me. I am scared of the mold. Yes, I am. And that'll fill this, this thing up completely. He does have some marshmallows left. And they look to be in good condition, so I think he's good on that. So... I will close up this bag and put a new bag in the garbage can. Oh, that's heavy. And I'm a weakling. Okay, there we go. There, so now I can, um, you're looking crooked. I did order a new tripod, so now I'm just waiting for it to be delivered. Yes, I did. Okay, and as you can see, well, you can't see, but now you can. I have been putting stuff on this counter instead of throwing it in the sink, like I told you guys we would be doing. And I don't think there is anything in the sink, so. We've been doing pretty good. Yes, we have. And I'm just going to um, take my cereal bars and put them in here because 
You know when I'm doing a video, I need a cereal bar. Yes, you guys know that. And that'll make it easier for me to grab one, you know, instead of walking out into the back room, which is five feet away. Because I was lazy. Yes, I am. Put it closer to me, and that'll make everything easier. Yes, it will, Maggie. What are you doing? She's in the basket. You got that basket. You know you're not supposed to lay in them. Yeah, she's taken to wanting to chew the crotch out of pants. And so she's no longer allowed to lay inside baskets. No, she is not. I'm going to try to grab this here without her seeing it. As you can see why, I need to throw it away. Because she has, she has mutilated the poor bunny. So it, it's garbage. Yes, it is. Oh, don't, want, uh, don't want to close the legs on it, which I almost did, which would have been a bad, bad thing. Maggie? Okay, she's just chewing on her, her thingamabob. And here's some, these are uh, stickers that I have made, I think. Yeah, these are stickers that are just stickers that are, you know, already stickers before I got them. And then also things that I made into stickers. Except for these here, I need, still need to make those into stickers. But I put them in there so that when I'm ready to do it, I can just do it. And they're there and I know where they're at. So, But yeah, that is what that is. Those are the stickers. Okay. I'm trying to see if there's, um, yeah, that's what I thought. It got some grease in here, this, this container, so it, it needs to be, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it needs to be washed out because it's nasty and I can't put anything in it as it is. I'm keeping a very close eye on Maggie because I don't trust her in that basket and I'll get over there very soon. I just want to wash this out. Before I forget, yeah, Josie had a bowl of her popcorn for a snack. And I just used one of these little clips to hold it closed. And I'll put, I'll put those in there. Yes, I will. Oh, if I have cold water on. I don't want cold water. I want hot water. There we go. I'm just going to wipe this out with some water. Because the this, this sponge already has some soap in it. As you can see. Well, now you can see it. And just try to wipe it out as best I can. And it, it feels like I got it. Because you hear it's nice and... It makes the squeak noise. You know, you test it with the does it squeak and it, it squeaks so I must have gotten all the grease out of it I don't have a towel close at hand so I'll just leave it there and when I do have a towel I will dry it yes I will okay well Maggie is playing in that basket we'll go ahead and pull this basket here and I'm just moving things out of my way as I work around stuff yeah I see the dustpan over there. I'm going to see if my broom's there as well. Yep, I found the broom, which was right next to the dustpan, which is where it should be. It's exactly where it should be. It's next to the dustpan. And I have a different broom, which is supposed to go with the dustpan, but I don't know where it is. 
is you know um yeah i bought this set on i don't know if it was holler or if i bought it off amazon i can't remember but it had a broom with it that is what i'm trying to say yeah, we're just getting some sweeping in here because the floor is a mess. It probably actually needs a good mop by it. Mopping, that's the word I'm trying to say. Now, I don't, like, take a, a sponge, uh, not a sponge, but I don't take, like, a, like a bucket of water and a, one of those mops, you know, and, like, mop the floor like that because this has, like, the, the sticky underneath it. They're just, you know, you lay them down. I do more of like a spot bob where I'll like take my my Lysol, I'll spray it, and then I'll wet the I'll wet my rag and put it on my Swiff, Swiffer mop, and that's how I I mop my floor. That is how I do it. Even though the floor on the the floor in here needs to be replaced because you can tell it's been worn down because. It was supposed, it's, it's supposed to look like wood, but with all the traffic in here, the wood has worn down to white. It has, you know, worn all the paint off it. So it needs to be replaced again. It gets replaced like every three years. Yeah, how about that? But first and foremost, we're going to do the ceiling. That is the first on the list. Before anything else, even before we do the top covers to match the bottom covers, we're going to get the ceiling done. Yes. We should have done the ceiling before we put in the ceiling fan, but it didn't turn out that way. But the ceiling fan was important because it does get hot out here during the summertime. And that ceiling fan has made a huge difference. Yes, it has. And I do see the cupboards behind me opened. I'm just going to use my broom. Because I'm lazy like that. And there, the, the, the cupboards are closed. Are you happy? I'm happy. I'm happy I didn't have to stand up and do it. Because that's lazy. Okay, I have a security box. I need, well, not security box, my, um, ugh. This thing here, my safety box, it has important documents in it, needs to be taken care of somewhere. I've had that for I don't know how long. My mom bought it for me for Christmas. And, you know, so, so I could put my important documents in it. And that's what I, that's what I did. And no, no matter where I go, it goes with me. I think I was actually married at the time, but it came with me. It actually has my marriage license in it. It has my marriage license in it. Yes, it does. I'm hoping eventually, I'm hoping eventually I'll have my divorce document in it. It is on the list of things I plan on doing in the future. Definitely. Yeah, I'm still, she's, she's still in that basket and she's making me nervous, but I am watching her. Oh, there. Yeah, this is a, um, this is a cane my friend gave me because she just didn't want it. But it doesn't work for me. I need something with a little bit more support. I have the one that has like the four legs on the bottom and that works better for me. So that one will probably go in the garbage. Or I'll just donate it to the um, to Goodwill or the Salvation Army or whatever you want to call it. That's probably what I'll do with it. I'm just moving these boxes off the floor so I can sleep underneath them. Now I need to get it closer to that side because... I can't reach it from where I'm at. Anyways, yeah, I also plan on, yeah, I have to clean out the bottom of the table because Maggie has this huge bed that I plan on putting under there. 
so that, you know, she can go there and sit and you need to stay out of that basket. What are you doing? What you got? Better be chewing on your thing and not the pants. Yeah, she's still chewing on her. If I catch her chewing on pants, she's going to get her little butt slapped. Yes, she will. Anyways, we're still trying to, you know, put stuff away. <laughs> well, not put stuff away, but like move it out of the way so I can, you know, get some cleaning done. And my cigarettes go down here. And then I'll finally have a basket emptied. Well, not emptied, but cleared out so that I can fold the laundry. Yes. What are you doing? I don't trust you. No, I do not. You've been bad pookie when it comes to my clothes. Yes, you've been. I love you, but I don't trust you. I don't trust you. Give me your thing. Here. Ew, that was soggy. That was soggy and wet from dog drool. Yes, it was. I'm just going to move those boxes over there. No, nope, I'm folding this stuff, Pooks. You need to go find someplace else to lay down. Yes, you do. Because I'm going to fold this laundry. So, no, oh, she's now in the other basket. Okay, if you want to be in that. I don't see any pants that she can chew on. So, that's, that's definitely a good thing. Yes, it is. Okay. So we're just going to now fold some laundry because I know how much you love. I mean, love watching me fold laundry. Just as much as I love folding it. I don't mind the folding of the laundry. I'll bring you down a little bit so you can watch. I don't mind the folding of the laundry because I find it kind of relaxing. And I, th I think my son forgot to put a... Uh, a fabric softener in this one because it feels kind of stiff. It's feeling the stiff and Maggie got some crumbs all over him. But that's fine. It shakes off. It doesn't feel as soft as it should. I'll say that much. Nope. Yeah, I'm keeping a close eye on you. She's laying on top of a towel. So I'm thinking I won't have to worry about her, um, you know, chewing anything. Chewing any pants up. This little butt. I'm trying to find a place. I'll just throw them there. I'll just have to separate it when I get done doing it. I need to, um, what do you call it? I need to wash all the whites in bleach. I usually don't wash them in bleach. I'll just wash them normal like I do everything else but when they start you know this one's is starting to look dingy that is when I'll I'll do a cycle of whites with bleach yeah I just keep I'm keeping looking over there because like I don't trust her no I do not and once I have everything folded this one's like, oh, they're just, um, it's like a run. And so these away, these are pretty old. I don't want to be hurt, you know, to be able to see through that. And I can't tell if it's like a run or if it's just like snagged. But either way, you know, she's had them a while and she, she's got a lot of pants. So she doesn't need ones that are snagged. No, she does not. I need to go through her clothes again because her her tote that's what we use for our clothes is overflowing with pants because she has enough she has enough pairs of pants this one has a stain so I'm just gonna toss them she probably has enough pairs of pants to go like two weeks without ever having to wear the same one that is the facts of it Yes, it is. She's over here now. 
What are you doing, Poot? What are you doing? She has also pro probably enough shirts to do the same. I have a lot of shirts, too. My shirt drawer is overflowing as well. Is this mine or Josie's? Okay, this is mine. Yeah, her and I have this, both have this shirt because I love this shirt so much that um, I went in and bought the same, anything, any of the floral prints. No, not, I didn't buy any of the solid prints. I don't think I did anyways. And I got the same ones for Josie, just smaller sizes. Because I thought they were darling, and I thought they would look really cute on her, and I was right. Yeah, this is the one that I have that shrunk really bad in the wash. And so now it's Josie's, because it's just too... I mean, I can wear it. It's just that it doesn't cover my belly at all. It just shrunk... It shrunk in the, the length. And I'm a conservative girl. I like to cover up my belly. So this was not for me anymore. But if it's Josie, just fine. Even in, you know, the chest area where you'd think it would be way too big for her. But nope, it fits just fine. Yeah, Anthony has off all next week. So I have some plans in store for him. One thing we're going to do is we're going to shampoo the heck out of that living room rug. Yes, we are. And get it nice and clean and smelling good. Now, so Maggie has this thing about grabbing underwear and chewing out the crotch. So when I go to fold, you know, underwear, I have to check and make sure the crotch is still intact. Yeah, she does. And she is not picky about whose underwear they are either. She doesn't care. She's like, let me have at them. I want to chew them up. Yeah, Josie has one more day of school, and then she's off for the weekend. Which means I'm awful. I'm awful. <laughs> I'm also off for the weekend. Because we're starting now to do something different. Um, before, she would use her iPad, and they didn't need me there with her to do that. And so I would just leave her there with her teacher, and she would do her class, and... And then when she was done, and then I would, you know, close her laptop, and she was done. But now they're doing something different where I actually, I have to help her a lot. And so, Tina no longer gets breaks. <laughs> Tina has to be there to help. And that is fine. I don't mind at all. Because I love my daughter. And if she needs mommy's help, then she will get it. So I'm almost done with this basket. And I can tell I took too long to fold these because the clothes are all wrinkled. And, oh well, that's fine. I need to buy Josie some more um, underwear between, you know, stains and Maggie ch chewing them up. She's getting, well, no, she's not getting low. She still has quite a bit. So I'll have to just, just see how many she has because I'm not really sure. But I think she does have quite a bit. And that way, you know, if I find something that's stained and I don't want to keep it, I can just toss it. So I, I'll need to find out how many she has left or how many she has carried. Okay. I got a piece of, well, this is from my, um, garland that I have hung up for Halloween and my um, jelly bean has been chewing at the bottom of it and ripping it apart and Maggie ends up getting it stuck to her like stuck to her food that she's you know like her little chew bone thingy and so when I find it <laughs> I throw it away 
You know, she's now laying in the basket with no clothes, chewing on her bones. Let's take her down there. There she is. There's the little pookie. Are you enjoying your bone? Are you enjoying it? She loves those things. And, oh, you got a leaf on your head. Can I get that off? Is that okay? Yeah. She needs a bath. And I'll probably give her one. To, I was going to give her one today, but I just ran out of time. So I'll probably give her one tomorrow because she is a filthy puppy. So that is the plan. Maybe, um, maybe this weekend. I don't know. I thought I would film it and do a video of the Maggie getting a bath. She does not like baths. So it might make for a very interesting and funny video. Yes. Uh, see that she was chewing on him and I didn't even know and as you can see it is wet from her chewing on it little butt that little butt and here I thought I was you know keeping an eye on her I'll probably have to get Anthony some underwear because Josie actually has more underwear than um, Anthony and I'll probably need to buy him some more because like I said, she's not picky on whose underwear she chews up. I mean, that's one of her dresses. Isn't that cute? I actually bought this the day we went and got her. And so it took a long while for this to fit her. And this is actually a little too big for her. But she wears it anyways. I'm just seeing if it has the size. And yep, yeah, this is a small. And this one, it's a little big on her, like I said. It says... We'll wag for swag. Isn't it, darling? I want to see if um, I can just figure out how to make them and I make my own. I don't think it would be that difficult. I don't think it would be. I just, you know, would need a pattern is all. Because I can't do things without a pattern. <laughs> no, I cannot. Yeah, she can lay in that basket that has no clothes in it. That is fine. <laughs> And I should have got her out of the basket, but I was stupid and thinking, I'm right here. I can keep an eye on her. She won't chew up anything. Yeah, right, Tina. She did just that. She was sneaky. She was a sneaky little pookie. Yeah, she's got her treat. She's happy. I'll have to ask Anthony if he needs new underwear. I feel like I just bought him underwear, but she goes to town. We try to keep them, you know, in the hamper or, you know, in the basket. And but she likes getting in the baskets. And then, you know, we don't, you know, pay attention to her. And, you know, even though we think we're paying attention to her, like, like she just did. She was sneaky. And got a hold of them and chewed them up. Clean, dirty, she don't care. It's all the same to her. So now we're making it so that she can't... She's not allowed in the baskets and I should have held her to that. And made her get out of the basket. But I didn't. No, I did not. Now, where are we on time? Oh, we're okay. I'm going to have to stop it soon, though, and I'll, you know, come back, you know, right back for probably part two because it would take forever to, you know, edit like a two-hour video and then process, process a two-hour video, which would take about two hours to process, and then upload a two-hour video. So I probably will break this down into two separate videos but i'm not going to stop this time i'm going to get it all done tonight and finish what i started unlike last time yes last time i did a lot of stuff you know stuff i had said i was going to do on camera i had done off camera like i had folded this ain't the laundry from you know when i did that first one this is you know different laundry <laughs> And because I had folded that laundry that night, 
and I'm running out of room in my chair, so I'm just making making room in this basket to put the stuff back in after I fold it. And I'll probably take this basket she's in and put it on top of the clothes so she can't get to them. Because she is a little butt pooky. She's a little butt wagger. Yes, when she's excited, her little butt just shakes back and forth. So I call her the little butt wagger. Yeah, that's what she is. Yeah, August um, August 20th was her one year birthday. And so she's over a year old now. She's a year in, let's see, August, September, October. So October 20th, she'll be one year and two months. And I believe she's as big as she's going to get. Yep, and I need to get her to the vet because she needs her shots and she needs to be fixed. And, but with all this COVID crap, I'm just nervous about going anywhere. But on Tuesday, I am going out with my mommy. We're going to go to Dollar General, Family Dollar, and Dollar Tree. And I'm going to go crazy. I haven't been to Dollar Tree in a while. And I'm sure they have a lot of new stuff out for Halloween and Christmas. And so I can just imagine how crazy I am going to be in there. Along with Dollar General and Family Dollar. It'll be interesting to see. Yes. But, you know, when, I do, when we do go, I will be filming hauls for all three of them. And depending on, you know, how much I buy at Dollar General or Family... Or Family Dollar um, will depend on whether I just put those two together or not or if I make them both you know completely separate videos we shall see on that because I don't know let's see what's that oh oh that was um I had gotten a comment from uh, I think it's DD hater or something like that Die Die Hater. I'm not sure how you pronounce her name. His name. Their name. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they had just said, because uh, I had posted my Halloween song today. That was the video that I posted for today. And they're telling me they, because um, I also had included the music video, well, my attempt at making a music video. And, you know, I'm no amateur, or I'm no pro at it. I am definitely lower than an amateur, but... You know, I tried my hand at it, and they were telling me they liked it, and it just made me smile. So I thought I would mention that, because I really appreciate it. You have no idea, especially when you know when you work hard at something. And even though it looks, you know, <laughs> stupid, you know, I still worked hard at it, and so I really appreciate it. Thank you, uh, Dee Dee, you know, for... Um, Commenting, because I appreciate it. I really, really do. Yes. I'm trying to fit all these clothes into one basket so that I can cover it with the other basket and cover the clothes up until we can get around to putting them away, which will probably be this weekend because my son's off. His vacation starts this weekend, and he has all of next week off, and I know he's looking forward to that. I know I would be, and he deserves it. Yes, he does. He worked all through, you know, he worked all through, you know, the, um, the virus and stuff. He didn't, you know, he wasn't able to stay home and... You know, I'm just, you know, because he's working in the kitchen, you know, patients had to be fed. And, you know, for that, you know, I'm really proud of him. He's, he, wor he works hard. He does. He's a good boy. Josie's iPad must have died because I am not hearing it no more. And she was playing with it earlier. But it only holds charge for so long. 
And unfortunately, where she sits, it's too far away for the cord to reach to where she's sitting. I need to find an extension cord so I can plug her iPad in so she can play with it, you know, as much as she wants. Because she's, you know, doing letters and stuff, which is educational, which is, to me, you know, a good thing for her to play with it. But, you know, it, it dies after a, after about eight hours. It dies. So, yeah, I need to either find an extension cord. I know I have some around here somewhere because I don't like using them unless I have to. And they're probably packed away upstairs. I probably packed them away because I wasn't using them. I just scared Pookie and I scared myself. Because I thought my camera was going to fall over. But, yeah, I just I need to find it. Because I think, you know, having one thing plugged into an extension cord will be fine. Most of the time I'll use power strips. You know, the kind that has a switch on them. The ones that'll turn off if, you know, if they get a power surge. I got the hiccup. I got the hiccups, like always. Oh, two socks. One of Anthony's and one of Josie's don't have a mate. So I'll shove them down in here in case I come across them. And if I don't, then I'll just throw them away. Because they might have just got sucked down into the washing machine or something. As I read, you know, you know, you have like you put in two socks, but you only come out with one. And, you know, there's um there's a chance that it got down between the the drum of the washer and just got washed out with the water as it, you know, the drain. And so if I do the entire load of laundry that's in my hamper where both socks should have been, and I do that entire load and I'm missing a sock from it. I am guessing that is what happened to it. It went the way of the drain. Yes. I'll put, I'll put the dish towels away because I don't need them out. And I'm going to kick Maggie out of her basket so I can put that basket on top of these to protect them from the nibble monster. Yes, that's what I'm going to call her. The monster that wants to eat clothes. Yeah, and that'll keep them safe until they're, until they get taken care of. But I'm going to put, stop the video here. We're almost at an hour. And then I'm going to take a little break. <laughs> I know this is what I said last time, but I, I promise I'm going to be back and do part two tonight. I'm going to take a little break and then I'll come back. So I'm going to put an ending on this one because it will be a part two. So don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And right here, smack dab in the middle of this video will be this face. Click on it if you haven't subscribed yet. Here and here will be a couple links to a couple of my videos. Go check them out if you haven't watched them yet. But until next time.